Hello movie buffs and welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is the most recent shocking information about the upcoming film, The Expendables 4. Following the news that Sylvester Stallone was leaving the franchise, there has been much speculation about the film's fate. In this video, we will go over the specifics of the situation and what it means for the franchise's future. According to Deadline, Sylvester Stallone may be leaving his Expendable franchise. The reason appears to be old-fashioned creative differences between the throwback franchise's star producer and Millennium CEO, Avi Lerner. Millennium was purchased outright by China's Recon Holding, and the fourth installment of Millennium's Expendables franchise is still in the works. But if Stallone is indeed expendable to the franchise he founded, then the series should be retired for good. Just because you have an IP doesn't mean you have a hit, especially if the IP has burned fans three times. As you may know, the Expendables, which was released by Lionsgate in the summer of 2010, was a long gestating dream project that reunited Sylvester Stallone and a number of his action contemporaries in an old-school canon film-style carnage fest. While Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis made cameo appearances, the first film was mostly Stallone, Jason Statham, and whoever said yes. Dolph Lundgren, Jet Li, and other actors such as Terry Crews and Rainy Couture rounded out the cast with Steve Austin working for the bad guys. The film was still a success, grossing $103 million in the United States and $274 million worldwide. Two summers later, thanks to Lionsgate, we got The Expendables 2. Stallone stepped down as director for Simon West, and this time around, Schwarzenegger and Willis joined Jean-Claude Van Damme as a movie-stealing villain and a flashy Chuck Norris cameo. It was bigger, more explosive and more of what fans wanted the first time around. Although it was less of a genuine film than Stallone's first meditative action drama, which was something of a yes we can response to Stallone's self-critical Rambo, the film earned $85 million in the United States but $314 million worldwide, so The Expendables 3 was released in August 2014. The good news is that a slew of new faces joined the cast including Mel Gibson as the bad guy and cameos from Harrison Ford, Wesley Snipes, Antonio Banderas, and noted action star Kelsey Grammer. And the director was Patrick Hughes, a relative newcomer who had recently completed the promising film noir western Red Hill. The bad news is that, after two films in which The Expendables had to fight for an R rating, the third time wasn't the charm, and The Expendables 3 received a PG-13 rating. It was a fatal blow for a franchise that wasn't exactly known for producing modern action classics to begin with. It was a rare super flop that year, earning only $36 million domestically and $214 million worldwide, including $72 million in China on a $100 million budget. Adults and action fans were disappointed, while the younger demographic that Expendables 2 hoped to attract preferred Guardians of the Galaxy and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The fact that the film was leaked online three weeks before its release in a DVD quality bootleg didn't help either, but I still believe it was the PG-13 rating, not the piracy, that killed the beast. The franchise would be finished under normal circumstances. However, in an environment dominated by intellectual property and franchises, even failure cannot keep a mediocre franchise down. Surprisingly, as the industry becomes more reliant on franchises, the bar for success falls. Even the utter failure of Terminator, Genesis, or Fantastic Four is enough to put an end to endless rumors and speculation about sequels, simply because, gee, maybe we'll get it right this time. We wouldn't have gotten Pacific Rim 2 in 2001, and Fox would have probably tried to make a sequel to Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes in 2013. The fact that The Expendables is getting a fourth chapter reflects this strange new way of thinking. I'm old enough to remember that when Part 3 flopped, you didn't get a Part 4. And if Stallone leaves, you don't have the franchise at all. Yes, many action stars have appeared in one or more of The Expendables films, but this is Sylvester Stallone's baby, and it has always been the Sylvester Stallone and Friends adventure. Sly Stallone and one other cast member, Jason Statham, Nan Yu, and then Kelsey Grammer have taken up the majority of the screen time in all three films, with the rest of the gang fighting for crumbs. 
Going forward without Stallone would be like making an Ocean's Eleven sequel without George Clooney and expecting Matt Damon and Brad Pitt to carry the day on their own. They might be able to do it, but it wouldn't be an Ocean film, would it? This isn't G.I. Joe, another keep rebooting until we theoretically get it right franchise where the concept comes first and the actors come second. The Expendables exist solely because of the actors who have chosen to participate. It only exists because Sylvester Stallone gathered a slew of other action stars to partake in nostalgia-fueled throwback action mayhem. Stallone could bring in Norris, Schwarzenegger, Willis, Ford, Banderas, Snipes, and others. Perhaps some of them will return, but the most star-studded version had the lowest gross, which should tell you something. If Expendables 4 isn't good enough for Stallone, how can fans expect it to be? This isn't to say that an Expendables 4 without Sylvester Stallone would be doomed, but it would have to perform at XXX Return of Xander Cage Resident Evil The Final Chapter levels in China to be considered. But when does it no longer feel like The Expendables? And when, even in an industry desperate for franchises, do you say, enough is enough? If the third time wasn't the charm, the fourth time is unlikely to be either. Indeed, Dolph Lundgren recently stated that The Expendables 4 will have a twice as big budget as The Expendables 3. Well, it's certainly larger. I mean, the budget is probably at least twice as large as the previous one. It's a unique franchise because many of today's action franchises are based on superheroes and are aimed at young audiences. As a result, there is no blood. No one is killed. People are banished to another universe. Dolph Lundgren explained at PopCulture.com. However, it appears to be quite risky. The Expendables 3 grossed only $214.7 million on a $100 million budget, two years after the second film's release. The good news is that Barney Ross's team will be back for another mission. Dolph Lundgren also revealed what distinguishes the new film from the previous three. But Expendables is old school, he said. People are unfortunately blown up and shot and there are real fights and stunts. So I think with that approach, plus the fact that we've got, you know, Megan Fox in it, 50 Cent in it, I think we've got something. He and I have a lot of scenes together. Andy Garcia, there's some new blood, and I think there's a certain excitement to it. Testosterone-driven excitement that, hopefully, people will want to see. The official synopsis for The Expendables 4 has yet to be released. But Lionsgate's president of acquisitions and co-productions, Jason Constantine, has described the film as a no-holds-barred action film that will raise the stakes and be the biggest, baddest adventure yet. Many fans were disappointed and concerned when they learned that Sylvester Stallone was leaving the Expendables franchise. However, there is still hope for the franchise because the producers are still working on the film and are actively looking for a new lead actor. It remains to be seen whether the franchise can continue to thrive without Stallone, but we'll have to wait and see. Well, that's it for now. We bring an end to this video, but we will be back with some new and interesting videos in the future. Till then, make sure that you like our video and do share your views and opinions with us in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel to get updated with the latest news and reviews on all your favorite TV shows and movies from us regularly. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.